Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dean Hop Realtors. Well, today I'm out in Garden Ridge, Texas, kind of close to the shirt symbol area, and I'm super excited about this video because I've been waiting a long time for this to uh, happen. We're the brand new one acre lot community of Enchanted Bluff, just off Bat Cave Road, and there's gonna be some amazing builders out here. One of the big draws about this community is the tax rate. You're looking at 1.47. Uh, HOA fees going to be a little bit high, about $3,500 a year. That's because they're going to have a uh, gate guard right out in front of the community. And remember, if you've got a gate, you're now paying for the roads and that gate guard to come check sure makes only the people that belong here are coming in here. But the builder we're looking at today, we're at Monticello. This is their big, they went really went all out with this model home. This is the, let me get the name right. Vermentino plan, 4,078 square feet. It is a four bedroom, four and a half bath, three car garage home. And of course the model homes, they put all the bells and whistles in it, but the base price of this house is just over a million dollars. All right, let's head out front and start the tour of this gorgeous home. All right, one of the things I love most about this uh, community Enchanted Bluff in Garden Ridge, Texas is its location. You are, that's Bat Cave Road right up there, and you are just 10 minutes away from uh, the HEB in Church, Texas. Uh, if you haven't know by now, I'm retired military. I go to the Church Medical Clinic, which is has the whole uh, pharmacy, physical therapy, all that good stuff. All that's just 10 minutes away. But you also got easy access taking uh, 2252 down to uh, north part of San Antonio. And because of this location, you can go anywhere in the Texas Hill Country, uh, New Braunfels, San Antonio, even like the 281 space without ever getting on to like I-35 or 1604. Because right now, especially uh, here in uh, September 2024, good God, it seems like every highway is under construction right now. So it's really nice having a community that you can take the Texas Hill Country back roads to. And trust me, they're gorgeous. I love riding them. But this house, uh, built by Monticello, it is a stunning model home. Remember, it's just over 4,000 square feet. So this is a big house. There's a lot to show off. So yeah, let's head on inside and showcase this beautiful home. All right, if you haven't done so already, feel free to hit that like button. That really does help everything out. And if you have been watching my channel for a while, you realize that I really do like Monticello as a builder. And I can't stress enough how much they've gone nuts with this beautiful home. But yeah, let's head on inside. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Beautiful door right here. Now, as I say with all model homes, this does, they have put all the bells and whistles into this house just to really showcase what they can do. So beautiful dining room right up front. Now remember there are four bedrooms. So the first bedroom is right up front here. We do have someone who just recently got a house under contract with Monticello, another military retiree and the sales rep. But this is one of the bedrooms a uh, what I call a little mini walk-in closet here. And something also unique is they every bedroom has its own bathroom in it. So that's very convenient. That's why we got four and a half baths in this plan. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really excited about it. Let them finish their conversation. But one of the things I really do like is the wide entryway Monticello puts in this house and beautiful flooring in here. But one of the things I like about it, of course, if you're gonna have a house this big, you gotta have an office. And this definitely does have an office in it. They kind of got it set up as a little sitting room right now. And remember model homes, they really showcase what they can do, but they could put that roof in there if you wanted to, along with all these uh, built-ins. So Monticello can really go nuts. So if you want them to, speaking of going nuts, so check this bad boy out. I love what they did with this. Look at this, how tall the ceiling is. Love the accent wall in here just so much grandeur in this room. I really like it a lot. Another thing I like a lot, they have a bar already built into this plan. So it's really nice and convenient. So yeah, you come around here, you've got your ice maker, little wet bar area, place to put your booze and plenty of space here to kind of stand behind the bar, serve up some cocktails for your guests and be able to see everybody in the house. Another thing I really like about this house is it's got this little movie theater. I mean, this house has so much going for it. So you can have perfect size for your movie theater with the ceilings. They already got the 
speaker kind of wired in there. But yeah, plenty of space in this room for its own personal movie theater. That's the dining room we saw when we came in. Another thing I like about it is they got the linear fireplace, kind of kept it kind of low. So if you didn't have all the fancy tile work there, you could put a TV in there, but you don't necessarily need a TV in this room. And a little bit further on the video, you're gonna see why. But this kitchen, really well done kitchen, giant island set up here. Love this color of granite, it really jumps out at you. Lots and lots of cabinet space in here. Uh, they do use KitchenAid appliance, which is a really good quality appliance. Uh, this is a gas community, so you're going to have your cooktop burner. Love the fact they got a little griddle there and a pot filler. Looking for behind the sink, uh, they got my favorite sink, the granite composite sink, single basin, lots of space in here, but really cool views from the sink itself of the whole kitchen. And you've got your little breakfast nook space right there. Lots of space. Still got the beautiful tile work. But just so much I like about this house. One of the things I do like about it is how they have their garages kind of set up. Oh, I'm not going to forget the pantry. A big size pantry. They got all the different floor plans laid out here. I'm going to, they got a price list. I'm going to show that at the very end of the video. So don't click off really quickly once you see me doing my wrap up because there's going to be a lot more good information. All right, this is the single car garage. Now, last week I did a video tour of a house and it had kind of a split garage like this. And I mentioned like, man, if they just had a split air conditioner in there, this would make a perfect workout room. And this builder, they must've been listening because uh, they did do that. And this is an ideal spot. If you didn't need a full three car garage, this would be a really cool uh, workout room. And we have tankless water heaters, two of them, so you're definitely not going to run out of water. And behind there, you see it's plumb for a water softener. All right, coming on around, we do have our laundry room, which is a really good sized laundry room. Love the fact that we got some natural lighting in there. Really cool, fancy flooring, but plenty of space and the little sink right there. But here's the two car garage. And this is a little bit bigger than a two, regular two-car garage because I always look at the distance between the door and the wall and there's plenty of space in here. This model home did just open up, so they still haven't put the patio furniture out just yet, but that's okay. No one's gonna stress about that too much. But I do like the fact they're gonna have some extra space on this side and a very clean back wall that you can do whatever you want to with because it's a fairly deep garage too. And of course, some natural light from the windows. All right, we do have a mud room. I didn't mention that before, so you can put your backpacks. All right, let's go through. Remember I mentioned before that you don't necessarily need a uh, TV in that room? Well, because we got this room set up right here, and this is a perfect place if you want to have a regular TV. And remember, we also have a movie room set up here too, but this is a perfect place for a little game room, some TV watching. If you've got the kiddos, they can have this room themselves. And this is gonna be the only half bath in the house. It's kind of tucked away from everybody else, but a really nice powder room, and it's open to this room as well. Well, we also have these two bedrooms in the back, good sized rooms, tall ceilings. And uh, they're also gonna have, just like that other one, little mini walk-in closets there. Lots of space in there. Let's see if this is triggered or not yet. One of the things that's unique about this house is they got a motion detector. Watch this when I come in. That is so cool that you immediately have a light source coming in when you come into the bathroom. And all the bathrooms have that feature. It's really neat. Definitely like the granite in there too. So yes, the small things impressed me and that was a little small thing that impressed me a lot. All right, this bedroom here also has a little mini walk-in closet. There's some other production homes that that's it for the master bedroom closet. These are in the guest bedroom or the secondary bedrooms. All right, once again, I wanna see it go off. There it goes. All right, this bedroom's gonna have a tub shower combination. They took it all the way to the top. It is really nice having all bedrooms have their own private baths. A lot less bickering going on when you know whose stuff is in which bath bathroom there. 
All right, coming back past the uh, game room space, which also has a door to the outside. Speaking of the outside, let's go check that out. No, remember, no patio furniture yet. That's in the garage, but look at this space. This is insane. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you have so many uh, activities out here. Yes, I like that movie. But just so much stuff you can do out here. Uh, covered patio roof. There's your door to that other bedroom. They got a built-in kitchen in here. Remember, all these lots are gonna be one acre lots, and they did have the fireplace built into this model. But another thing the developer did was very careful about clearing these lots. It's leaving so many of these oak trees still there. And we're definitely in the Texas Hill Country. You're gonna have limestone right below us. But uh, yeah, it's just really nice how they kept so much of this stuff natural. We got more buildings going on back over there. And also there's a parade of homes coming up here real soon. Uh, that's why you're gonna see all these model homes trying to get their stuff done. A lot of these, well, all of these uh, home lots are already pre-purchased by the builder. So you can't, it's not like Vintage Oaks where you can uh, buy a lot, sit on it for a long time and then bring whatever builder you want. The builders already own these. But there are some great builders that are out here. Uh, Monticello is definitely one of my favorites. You can have Sitterly, Toll Brothers, and a few others as well. All right, let's head on into the master bedroom and show that off because it is really nice as well. Our master bedroom is kind of all set aside by itself back here. Different flooring, got the wood flooring in here, but wow, check out this space. Nice tray ceiling, lots of room. That's a king size bed and there's plenty of room on both sides of them. And uh, I love the little eyelid bump out right there. Gives you the extra space and plenty of lighting in this floor plan. All right, coming into the master bathroom, we got the French doors. Uh, I really like what they've done to this bathroom. You got dual vanities set up. Love how they got the lights kind of tucked behind the mirrors there or into the mirrors. There's a little click for the motion detect lights to come on. So we got the other vanity, once again, a cool mirror. Love this soaking tub, plenty. You could make this thing really super deep to have your little bubble bath with a glass of scotch. Yes, I have been known to do that before, but uh, lots of uh, light coming in through this window. And you got what I call a car wash shower coming through here. So you got your one shower head, two shower heads, and the rain shower up there. So there's, I really do like what they've done to this uh, bathroom. You got your water closet tucked away over there. But speaking of closets, I know me and my wife, we have different ways we like to do our closets. So we got two separate closets here, plenty of space in both of them. And this is actually the smaller of the two closets here, but still plenty of space in this closet. But there's another closet right here as well. So a lot more space in here. So yeah, plenty of space for all the stuff you might want to store into this closet. There's just so much I like about this house. This is such a beautifully done design. I love this bathroom and everything about it. One thing I need to point out that sometimes people forget that a lot of these builders and Monticello is one of them. They pay my realtor fees, so please don't go through this process alone. But hey, I got a little more incentive. If you do use me as your real estate agent, what I'm gonna do is pay for the pre-sheetrock inspection because uh, if you saw my video on that, that pre-sheetrock inspection is probably the most important because uh, it's the easiest one for Con subcontractors to screw up. And once that sheetrock is up, it, it just gets hidden away. So I'll go ahead and cover that cost if you did decide to use me as your real estate agent. So I hope you do, and I hope you enjoyed the tour. Uh, don't click off when I'm doing my wrap up because I'm gonna have some important information on the final slides. Well, I do hope you enjoy the tour. Remember, this is the Vermentino plan built by Monticello Home, just over 4,000 square feet, four bedrooms, four and a half baths, 
beautiful community, lots of perks about being in Enchanted Bluff. And if you did like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. But most importantly, if you know someone's considering moving to this area and they're not already working with a real estate agent, I'll be happy to help them out. And the best way to get a hold of me is to, after the builder information, my information is gonna be there with my contact, cell phone number, email address, but if you want even more information, look in the description box. There's gonna be a link to my Calendly app. So if you wanna schedule a Zoom meeting with me to get to know me a little bit better, and so I can get to know you a little bit better as well, uh, please click that link and schedule when you're available to chat. All right, take care now, bye.